Okay, so next concept that we are going to discuss is SLA, that is Service Level Agreement. Okay, so what is SLA? In general, we always have a time frame, a time foundation for every task that we are supposed to do, right? Um, so if someone is submitting a request, we should ideally have um, basically a fixed deadline within that approval has to be sought, right? A fixed deadline within the other stuff in that particular phase has to be completed. Okay, so this is this is in business sense called service level agreement where we have agreed that okay this particular task or this particular business process is going to be completed within this this time frame, right? So an example could be that okay once you start submitting the leave or when uh, when you have actually kind of submitted the leave adjustment the approval should be granted within two days right so business will say that okay yeah uh, every leave adjustment must be approved within two days right but we should try to approve it in one day that is another concept okay so if business says that we, we will uh, ideally we will like to have it approved in one day but it must be approved in two days so what does that mean there are two deadlines right so SLAs has two important component okay two important component in them first one is called goal and second one is called deadline right so goal is something that we try to achieve Okay, so when business is saying that the approval on the leave adjustment uh, should be uh, completed in a day, but should not take more than two days. So that means that the goal is one day. Okay, and deadline is must. Okay. Okay. this should be in two days right okay next thing that we need to understand is what happens if the deadline is not met i mean yeah these must have uh, all those leave adjustments approved by uh, within two days but what happens if it doesn't happen so there is something called post deadline okay after deadline breach all right so these three time frames are very important the goal which we try to achieve um, then we have uh, deadline that we must achieve and in any case if any in any case the deadline is also breach what i mean that will be post deadline okay now pega has a special rule called service level agreement rule type that we create for such scenarios or to fulfill such requirement okay within our case type along with that pega gives us some actions to be taken if that particular time frame is not met so actions are there so if if the goal is breached i mean the goal was to complete it one day but we couldn't we must we can take up some actions right we can take some actions like uh, we can send an email reminder right we can send an email to manager that uh, your employer hasn't done this we can actually change stage some automotive processing we can move the case from one stage to other stage and plenty of such scenarios are there okay similarly we have the same kind of situation or same kind of uh, options available if we breach the deadline okay and if the post if, if the dead um, if the deadline is also breached and we have reached to the stage where we are running into the post stage then we have an option to configure some actions there too but we will have to we will have to configure uh, how many times we want to take the post deadline action because it cannot be indefinite right after that you got to be serious about that so we can say 
okay remind five time five time remind uh, the user that deadline is breached this must be completed now right this kind of situation right so these three elements are very essential for the pega service level agreements rule all right so let's try and see um, how we can implement it so we have our case type leave adjustment okay for the demo purpose we will have um, basically smaller time frame okay not in days we will have in minutes all right so this is the leave adjustment and let's say that we are um, the business has requested us that the approval must be granted in two minutes and i mean sorry approval should be granted or we will try to get the case approved in two minutes all right for the testing purpose two minutes it's usually in days and um, the deadline is five minutes okay so where do we configure the sla the most common use of sla is on that particular shape on that particular assignment it could be assignment it could be a shape right it could be some process right that's one place where we configure this goal and deadline so i select the approval goal and deadline we also can configure the um, sla on a complete stage when we complete uh, when we configure the sla for the complete stage that means everything that's there in the stage must be completed within that time frame okay so it can be on a particular stage or it can be on, on a particular shape right a step so we will begin with the shape one all right so service level agreement so you can have a custom sla that will this will convert into a sla rule you can specify the goal and these are the options available on the case designer all right but let's do it in the full fledged version so we'll say existing sla and we will um, make make a new one approval sla okay create and open so let's see um there is also something called case urgency so every case has an urgency initial urgency is always and we might want to increase the urgency as the duration is as the time is passing by right that's a different concept we will talk about that later so we will leave it here second thing is assignment ready so when is the assignment ready for us to start implementing the sla or start monitoring the sla right so it should ideally be immediately as soon as the assignment is created the sla should trigger or the sla should be monitored immediately from there you can have it uh, basically delayed by some time that okay once the assignment cre is created just delay it by one day and then start uh, basically start monitoring the sla you can have dynamically defined on a property a property will tell basically a value a date time property will tell when to start monitoring the sla for us we are going to have it immediately all right then this one is goal so calculate service level interval from when assignment is ready or set to a property value so when the assignment is ready that's when we will start calculating the goal you can actually have a property reference date time and from there you will start uh, basically calculating the goal too but at the moment we will have as soon as the assignment is ready the goal timing will start triggering okay I and mean, we will start uh, counting how many hours or minutes are passing by so for the uh, <coughs> demo purpose we will have just two minutes as a goal okay and here are the actions so you can notify the assignee so let's notify the assignee itself all right you will notify the assignee that there is a a case that you need to take action which is actually going to breach the goal deadline or goal timing very soon next one is um, deadline same thing right uh, one more setting here only calculate using business days in that case the sla will just ignore the weekend yeah and this calculation of business days happen through a calendar rule that is set on the operator ids okay so every operator has a default calendar see right so in that calendar we define which one is weekend and which one is business day so monday to friday is business day and saturday sunday are weekend so those will be not considered if you check this all right 
that only consider business days but we are not going to check that next one is deadline we will say that deadline is four minutes all right or just three minutes so that you get it early and this time we are going to um, notify the manager of the assignee whoever that this is assigned the manager of that person will be informed then pass deadline like i discussed how many times do we want to implement that pass deadline we will just do it one time okay uh, do we basically want to do we want to inform the manager again or do we want to escalate uh, basically send the case to some other party right a work party we haven't discussed we will discuss that shortly but at this point of time we will say advanced flow okay or oh, no not advanced flow let's say here too we will say notify manager okay at the moment because we haven't discussed those things yet all right so one one time only so limit past deadline events to one only one time this will happen okay now let's save this so this approval sla is ready for us now remember once you have the sla on that assignment the user will see what is the time that is left to complete that when they open it okay so save it now i'm going to save this one too approval sla with approval sla now let's create a case So this this assignment doesn't have an SLA, so nothing uh, affects here. Okay. Now, as soon as you submit, it moves to the assign uh, approval one, right? See, due in three minutes from now. So three minute is our deadline. That's what is shown. Okay. Due in three minutes now. If you go there, now it's two minutes basically. All right. So, of course, we have the acknowledgement email only. Let's wait for a few minutes um, for, for the SLA to reach the goal time and we'll see another email there. So, it is assigned to administrator. So I don't think administrator has a manager, but we'll see. Do you about a minute from now? So SLA basically whenever you set up an SLA or on any assignment or on any stage that is monitored by a background process okay there's a background process we will talk about that later but that keeps on monitoring um, basically where the sla is being breached and that actually triggers the action which is defined in the sla so this all uh, processing is happening from behind the scene So SLA has already done its job. Okay. Correspondence has been attached. So you see the first goal deadline was missed. So see, this is an email that is generated by the system. This has passed the goal time. Okay. 
Uh, I mean, we can customize and we can change this, but this is being sent to the administrator only. Okay. Whoever it is assigned to, it is assigned to administrator. So we got that. In a minute, the deadline will also be breached. You can see uh, all the actions being taken on the case in the view history has passed the deadline time too. See, right? So, there is another assignment, another email, right? Deadline has been passed as well. And then there will be post deadline only one time because I've set it to one. So there will be one post deadline action as well. There will be one or more email coming up here. And set a time. Oh, I haven't set a time here. It should be one minute every one minute or every two minutes. So I have just one, so after one minute this should have happen. But that's okay. Uh, All right, we, we can create another case to test that that part was missed. So this is the SLA, right? You can have this SLA defined on the entire stage as well. So this is the starting stage. This is to be created. So there is no SLA because you are going to trigger that case. But if we have any other uh, stage, or we can have it here on the approval stage altogether in the goals and deadline. You can have it existing SLA like this or you can create a new one you can remove it from here so it will now consider that all of the things has to be completed within that time okay, so let me just remove it from here and this will be a stage level sla remember it sla doesn't uh, differentiate whether it is going to be stage or step level okay same sla can be configured anywhere as per the business requirement so just a quick thing approval but this is on the entire stage so this is not for the step so we don't see that message here all right but after two minutes this case will be accent by that sla background process and an email will be attached to it okay so this is about the service level agreement at a very high level